Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. A lot of you have been asking me to review these platforms. I've sort of opened a rabbit hole here uh, by agreeing to do this. And I'm not sure it's the best idea, or I'm not sure it's even that useful anymore, because I did spend some time this weekend looking into maybe six or seven of these. This one is Ducas Copy. That's the Swiss uh, located here in Geneva, Switzerland. There's IG in London, Saxo in Denmark, CMC, TD America, Forex.com. These are all U.S. Uh, brands of this. But they're all pretty much similar, and they have all basically similar characteristics. Um, so let me just go over the things that you need to be successful at foreign exchange and also say that most all of these systems offer all of this. So you need a good charting package. This has it, right? You could do any chart on any currency pair, uh, on any single name stock. You can see Alcoa, Alibaba, Apple. You can do it on indices. You can do it on commodities. I mean, the the breadth of the offering here is, is really stunning, um, and it's all free. So you need a free charting package, and you need good breadth um, of the offering. Ducas has all of that. Then you look at the spreads being offered. Ducas and currencies, incredibly, incredibly attractive spreads. Uh, certainly up to one million notionally. You could trade here pretty easily. Uh, bigger than that, I would be a little bit worried. Um, I wouldn't trust the liquidity on definitely, say, over five million, but say under one million, I think you're incredibly safe, and up to five million, you could probably get tickets done here um, without any really irregular slippage. Then thirdly, you have to look at the reporting. So this account here, Mr. Hagenhoff28, is a friend of mine. He has $2,281 in the account. Um, I just bought 200,000 Aussie for him at uh, 69.229. Just for kicks, I think Aussie's gonna go a little bit higher here on the open. Uh, maybe we'll pay for some lunch money while we're doing this video. Uh, he had some euros on board already, 72,000 euros. Uh, I'm not sure what he uses this account for. I think he hedges um, some of his investments in Europe. Uh, obviously, Switzerland, people have investments in, in neighboring countries in France or in Germany. So there's a lot of Euro Swiss that goes through or a lot of Euro dollar that goes through. Um, or maybe he's just taking a bet on euro dollar, but it doesn't matter. The point is this: you can see uh, the position size, the notional size. You can see the price, the entry, and the P&L. And you can also see here, real time, that we have approximately two, no, 100 times leverage, a $2,200 account. We have basically $220,000 at risk here. This is incredibly dangerous. Um, and this is where retail platforms suck in a lot of guys who are just gamblers, right? Uh, and they're looking for a quick, fast buck. Why there's a hundred times leverage on this account, I don't know. Um, in the real world, in the institutional world, we really never leverage more than 10 times. And we only might leverage 10 times twice a year. When we have a setup in a super liquid currency pair, say Euro dollar, um, and we have a setup that is so incredibly obvious uh, that we can really put the hammer down. Those are very, very rare. Why there's 100 times leverage and why people use 50 times leverage, again, uh, it looks like to me they're trying to suck you in and make you into a gambler versus a trader. Um, this is the real problem with this part of the business. Uh, they're turning this into a casino rather than an asset class that needs to be managed. Um, but that philosophical bias aside, I can say with clarity now um, of these sort of seven platforms that I've looked at, a lot of them were just on the demo account and this one is live so it's even better. Um, 
Most all of them have everything you need. One of the great things about Dukas is they're a bank, they're a Swiss bank, so they're regulated by the FINMA here, and they also protect your money up to 100,000 Swiss francs, I believe. Um, so this gives you a little bit more peace of mind. I'm pretty sure Saxo will do the same because they're also a bank. Uh, IG, CMC, and Forex.com, these type of guys, I don't think offer that same service. So I know a lot of you wanted me to come and hammer, um, hammer these retail sites and tell you how terrible they are. Uh, in effect, I'm basically saying the opposite. The retail sites are just fine. They offer basically what you need to get started trading Forex, which is good reporting, live P&L, good chart packaging, and one-click trading at very good spreads. The one thing I would caution you all on is the leverage. Um, and one of the reasons a lot of retail tra traders blow up is the leverage. You should never be using 50, 60, 70, 100 times leverage in FX, ever. Um, I could go on for another half hour on why this is true, but I'm just going to suggest, just trust me on this. If you avoid the leverage, these are great tools to learn how to trade FX, and these are great tools to maybe add a little bit of extra income uh, or beer money to your life. Uh, while also learning a skill which is trading and managing money. That's actually all I got on this. Um, hope it was helpful and we'll post this and see what everybody thinks and maybe we will uh, look at some other more institutional offerings in comparison to the retail a little bit later on. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you soon. Ciao.